Hey guys, it's another really hot day in Southern California and we were just cleaning out and reorganizing the shop. So I figured why not show you guys the entire setup, kind of walk you through all the cars and show you guys some of the projects we have going on. So as you can see, my Tempest is pretty dusty again. We're gonna be doing some major work on this in the next couple of weeks. So be prepared for lots of Tempest videos. But right now, car's just sitting outside along with Roxy, the 55 Hummingbird trailer, because, well, you're gonna see, we're like totally out of room in here and we gotta start getting going on some of these projects. So let's head in. All right, so, the shop is actually Danny's. I'm not gonna take any credit for this setup. He did such a great job in getting this place all set up and organized, you know, the whole lift, everything. So you wanna tell them about like your old unit and how you got to this yeah, one? Yeah, the unit that I had before this was about half this size and uh, it started a rental car business. So we needed a bigger shop. We rent classic cars out for yep. movies, music videos, whatever you want. Uh, this is our main star here. This was an MGK, <laughs> the last video, Machine Gun Kelly. Um, go check it out, but yeah. I got the idea to rent the cars out. Actually, it started with this car here, the Slayer, because I used to let everybody drive this and I enjoyed letting other people drive the car. So I was like, why don't I just make money off of doing that? Yeah. So that's what we came up with this. Yep, so Grease is just the ultimate daily. We take this thing everywhere, and then, yep, as he said, it gets rented out. He's on Turo, so yeah, even you could rent it, actually. Yeah, we here. got it set up. It's got an LS engine, a 4L60E transmission. Yep. We did a patina paint job. This was like five different colors when I got it. We painted it here. It's um because I didn't want anybody to like scratch up a really nice paint job. Yeah. So I went with the patina, so that way it would be easy to color match it. It looks good. Yeah, it's really cool because it's like patina outside and then it's got that perfect bright red interior. So yeah. it's been oh, showing the gauges. Yeah, it's been really good for um on the other side. Yeah. So it's completely digital and easy for the customer to use. As you can see there it shows park and you got an automatic shifter here when you pull it down. It also displays it there. See, we're in reverse. We're going to go back to park. Yep. There we go. So, yeah, just really cool. <laughs> okay, well, I'll show you the rest of the setup here. So, this corner here is a little unorganized, but we're going to get to it. This is just some stuff that needs to be moved around. Got our fishing rods. I got my Mosier rear end that's kind of hidden there. Um, so that needs to go into the Tempest. Just a bunch of tools. And then obviously you guys already saw the update on the Firebird. Nothing's really changed on it. So we have to get going on this as well. Just a lot of- It's collected a lot more dust. Yeah, that's for sure. But and I plan on taking it out real soon. We're gonna do some fun stuff with it. Go are you, are you gonna go surfing or something? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so I just picked up Willwood brakes, not for this project, it's actually for the Tempest, so that's why those boxes are sitting there. And then, yeah, you can see it hasn't changed. Um, over in this area, um, upstairs is more like part storage, but it's really, really messy, so we're not gonna show you that. Um, over here, we got like a lot of like fluids, a lot of parts, for Danny's refrigeration yeah. business, actually. So, these are a million dollars. Don't tell anybody that, they'll come and rob us. <laughs> yeah, there's like five, six hundred dollars a tank right now here in California. Yeah. Free on. Uh, here's the parts room. This is where we have all the nuts and bolts and extra parts for like LS engines and miscellaneous motor mounts and alternators and stuff like that. This is specialty tools and pullers. So that way it keeps the outside of the shop a little cleaner. Yeah. Yep. So that's that. Those are just like easy access, like stuff that we use all the time. Right over there, cherry picker. We'll be using that soon. Yeah, <laughs> gotta pull the overhead cam six out of the Tempest. Yep. 
And then I'll show you in here first before we get to the other cars, but this is the office. So slash break room, if you wanna say, cause we got the fridge and everything. But yeah, so the board is like the most important thing that we use. This is where like all of our goals go. We like try and write them down, check everything off. Um, like daily work stuff for refrigeration goes here too. Um, this is Danny's seat, he's the boss. So. It's a gaming chair. Yeah, so he gets this. It's comfy. And then, yeah, so he's got like a lot of like stuff over here. He's got Slayer come out. Slayer right there. You got my slot machine. <laughs> I bought that at the, uh, what was it? The Ventura swap meet. Swap meet. And we've been like gambling with that. And then this is kind of cool. So years ago, I actually wrote a story on the Slayer Camaro for Hot Rod Magazine. It was just supposed to be for their um, for their website. And then later I found out that they were actually gonna put it in print. So that's the article that I wrote on the car. And that was like super proud moment for me because I never thought I would have like my name in Hot Rod Magazine. When was this? August, 2019. <sighs> Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I remember doing that photo shoot. And there it is. Yep, right up there. So. All right, what else? Maybe, what's, what else can we show? Show the rest of the shop first and then we'll show the cars. Yeah, okay. So then that room is kind of dirty, so I'm not gonna show you that. Um, this is more like parts storage here. Extra parts. Anybody got a Mopar? Got Mopar parts here. Yeah. Bell housings. This is just the bathroom. It's actually kept very clean, wash up after every job. We this got a maid now. That's like my favorite thing. I don't know who made that, but. Oh yeah. That thing is cool. so sick. Slayer. Those are old places I've been. Yeah. Well, some of them. And then before we get to the beauties, the last room is the engine room. So let me turn the light nice off. Nice boots. Thank you. Okay, so right now it's a little empty. This room used to be used a lot more. Danny had like a bunch of engine projects going at one point. So definitely it was more filled up. Right now, we just got my L33 short block here. So still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this, how I'm gonna set it up, but it's just like calling my name. It's just so pretty and ready to go. So I can't wait to get in on this, but eventually we're going to be building um, a six liter for the Tempest. So this is going to wind up in something else. The Tempest will have a six liter. So very soon this whole room is just going to be filled with all sorts of parts for that project. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then this is obviously the little workbench. Yeah, we got Boxo tool set in here, so that way we don't have to run back and forth to my other toolbox over there. Yep. We just have all the tools we need here. All the engine building parts that I have are in this toolbox. Not much, but you know, hey, I'm still, I'm still learning. Yeah, and then this shelf here, this is my favorite shelf. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is um, my carburetor collection along with a bunch of Danny stuff too. So this whole shelf is just been for that. Where are these Mickey Oh, uh, Those were off of Hank. Off well, the engine that I built for Hank. Yeah. I, I went with some other valve covers instead. Yeah. There's a couple blown out rear ends that I blew up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Spider gears are blown out. Yeah. But um, at some point I was actually gonna do a video like talking about all these carburetors that we got cause they're all a little different in some way or another. So if you guys want to see that, well, let me know. I could talk your ear off about carburetors. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay. So All right. Well, I guess that's, that's kind most of, of the shop. Yeah. So we'll start with the cars. Yeah. Why so we already talked about grease lightning a little bit. We already talked about the Slayer Camaro. Let's move on over to Hank, the gasser. So I got this car about three years ago. Yeah. Two or three years ago. 
Uh, it didn't have an engine. It didn't have much anything for interior and it still kind of doesn't, but I put a, a vintage steering wheel on it. Also went with the glitter shifter ball, put on a vintage tack. And then I got this motor from a friend and rebuilt it, put some aluminum heads on it and uh, let's show you that. There it is. I promise it's rebuilt. It just made it look like it's old. <laughs> yeah. And then we Patina matched it too. Swap that carburetor onto it, but we think we want to like test out some other ones on this engine. Yeah. She gave me that carburetor. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um so yeah, built a custom exhaust system for it here. Yep. Shoot, fired up. Yeah. Got the pie crust slicks. Hang on. I'm like so short that even. It's all right, you don't need to push the clutch in. Is it in neutral? Um, let's see. Oh, push it forward. Yeah, it's in neutral. Just turn the key. So I need to find some uh, vintage seats for it. These are just temporary. I found these out by the garbage can. So that's what I want in here for now. <laughs> but I'm gonna find some nice low backs for it. And then I'm also gonna build a little roll bar for it as well. Mm -hmm. um, what else? It's got a cool little on and off switch here that I built right into the tail light. So we'll turn that off. Yep. Um, yeah, that's Hank. That's Hank. Um, what next? Uh, let's talk We could the... talk about the, oh, Duke. You guys There's have Duke. seen this in a previous video. We took it out fishing. It's still like set up for camping and fishing right now. It still has a bunch of stuff in it. But what I love about this car is just that it's, it's just like all original. It still runs just the same as it did in like 56. Yeah. It's just such a great car. It's original also engine. So reliable. Yeah. Original engine, original transmission, two-speed power glide, a cast iron power glide. Look at that. Generator and a power steering pump bolted to the back of it. Cool. Yeah, if I could pick the most useful vehicle in the shop, it's this one, yeah, hands down. For like, sure. This thing just does it all. Yeah, and we're going to get her out surfing with me one day. <laughs> oh my god. I'm down. If we take this, I'm down. Okay, you guys heard it. Yep. Um, okay, that's Duke. We've, you've already showed Duke plenty of times. Yep. Uh, here's the Barracuda. This is my 1969 Barracuda. Yep. This is Barbara. And uh, it's original big block four-speed car. Mm -hmm. Take a look. This is definitely the nicest car in the shop. Look at that. Yeah. You want to see what it looked like before I restored it? Yeah. Check this out. That's the original owner washing the car for the last time before I took it in 2004. Here's the car when I started disassembling it. Look at all that rust that I had to replace. Me and my buddies did all that in a barn. Yep. That's me. <laughs> I was like 18 or 17. There's my buddy Albert. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's me there grinding on it. Yeah. All yep. my buddies chipped in. And uh, yeah, I ended up painting it myself when I was like 20 years old. That's such a good job. Oh my God. Yeah, so. Big block four speed. Yeah, let me pop the hood. Yeah. See if I can remember how to do this. Look at that. So 
so nice. Yeah, numbers matching motor. Uh, these are original valve covers for a Formula S. They came chrome. These are, however, not original. This is not the factory intake, but I do have the factory intake on that shelf. I have the original exhaust manifolds too, which are pretty rare. Mm -hmm. I decided to go with headers because these just flow much better yeah. than the factory ones because the big blocks that had to go down and underneath the power steering um, shaft and then back down, really restrictive. So I went with headers. Um, yeah. Should we see if it starts? I haven't started it for like a couple weeks. Yeah, let's let's give it a go. I'll show you guys the back of the car while it fires this thing yeah. up. Let's see. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> more things to do i got to put the vinyl top back on it and um looking for some uh trim pieces still really hard to find stuff they don't make them anymore so but it's, it's on the someday list it's basically there it's just missing little things yeah but yeah so that's barbara barracuda yeah. uh this is actually a customer's car here we just put the front clip on it and been a long road with this one but it's the only car that we have to work on that's a customer's car now so we're hoping to get this it's on the top of the list yeah right so this is a 69 firebird it what was it like a, a 400, 400 400 car so we a couple months ago we were trying to get the doors all lined up fitted real nice this side went on like butter like mm -hmm. passenger side just went on driver side was a little bit of a nightmare but they got it and yeah so good it's looking good yeah it's just lots of little things that need to get done to this car but we're hoping to have it out of here because we're quickly running out of room for our own vehicle <laughs> see what happens when you want to get a car girlfriend yeah you run out of space taking up space they don't yeah. tell you about that <laughs> yeah. okay well i guess we should get the slayer down so yeah. we'll start up grease lightning move it out we'll yeah. get the slayer down we'll show you the slayer camaro Here's your heat waves. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Badass. 
hard to turn that car off. Yeah. Sounds so good. I know. <laughs> All right. Well, since the Slayer is up on the lift, you want to like talk about some of oh. the recent changes you've made and um i just recently upgraded the rear mount radiator it's a dual pass now um the old one developed a leak so i just i'm trying something a little bit new um but yeah i mean it's been working out pretty good um got my dash 16 lines basically running from the radiator all the way to the back these are dual 16 delta pack fans brushless fans yep um, got my holly fuel pump right here it's all full of dirt <laughs> uh, what else? We've got Caltrax here. It's been a while since I built this car, so mm -hmm. excuse me. Caltrax, uh, custom dual exhaust here. Uh, mounted my fuel pressure regulator here on the side of the frame. Yep. Um, I've mounted my coil packs. This is a 5.3, by the way. Yep. Um, turbo 5.3. Yeah, turbo 5.3. T56. T56 Magnum. Transmission close ratio. And we got a single four inch pipe coming down here. I fitted a resonator here to quiet it down. Mm -hmm. And then we got QA1 shocks, coilovers here, a big uh, sway bar. Yeah, and that's a turbo. Yep, right in there. Yeah. Something so. that I'm not familiar with. <laughs> okay, let's take it down. All right. <laughs> Yeah, you can see this car has been places. Yep, in the same configuration. So it's going to be kind of fun to disassemble it because, I mean, the last time I really worked underneath this hood was when I built it. Yeah. Well, that says a lot. It's lasted. It's done its thing. So, yeah. Um, I mean, we're suspecting it blew a head gasket. That's just... It could be a cracked cylinder head, though, as well. Yeah. It's so It's pushing coolant out the system here when I, like get on it yeah so we're gonna have to tear into it see what's going on D danny's got some work to do road calls but yeah so here's the slayer yeah okay, here's the interior cool. yeah we'll have to do more videos with this car because it's been a little while since you guys have seen an update on it but wow what a fun car to drive it's just set up so well okay. and like it really makes me want to do a manual swap on the tempest but i mean i could but i'm pretty committed to the 4l80 at this point but i was just saying that like this car really makes me want to do a manual swap yeah, they look pretty good in that car yeah they look good with a six speed mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah yeah so this is a slayer tomorrow and we'll be tearing into it very soon yep but yeah i guess that's really it for the shop tour um so if there's of all the cars we got in the shop that you guys have seen if there's a car that you want to see more of you want to see more build progress on or you just want to see us like driving around in it Drop a comment below, let us know, and we'll do that because all of these need to be driven. Like, That's right. A fun car is one that it's driven. Yep. So anyway, that's it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.